Jenkins and Rick Perez uh, with Home Dream Realty and we are here for our live weekly Q&A. Hello everybody and uh, we'll go ahead and say hi to those as they join in and such. So today what we're going to talk about is uh, we get asked a lot of questions a lot of times and more things you know people are getting afraid of the market is things like that. We're always like how's the market? How's the market? How's the market? Well now recently we've been asked is the market changing? So you know, I will definitely add my two cents, but I've talked a little bit, so let's have Rick talk. Definitely, uh, well, first off, the market is changing all the time. It's oh. just the nature of our economy. Everything changes, but there's nef never, it's never, whenever I, anybody asks me that question, I always say the market is great. It is. And it yep. really is great, but it is changing, and there are dynamics that are impacting our market here in Fredericksburg locally, but also nationally. So there's big picture things that are happening, but there's also smaller things that are happening. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, I would say um, I'm actually in a mastermind group that meets nationwide, and um, the the topics in that is a lot of the markets outside of our area are changing. So, and when we're say changing, you know, homes that um, were on the market maybe a day, sometimes in some places like California and Florida, things like that, they were on hours or something. And um, and then what's happening is now they're sitting a few weeks, and so people are just a little bit concerned. So um, that's when they start, you know, having. We've had different classes at this um, meeting that we had in August, and they're predicting like a full market change within 18 to 24 months. So, um, you know, real estate is cyclical. So we have, you know, seven years of up and seven years down is what they predict, you know? And so realistically, if that's the case, then we probably are due for a change. And I have actually seen some signs. So I've been in the business now 15 years. And so I was actually in when the craziness happened, when the market was, you know, you couldn't even put a sign in the yard and houses were selling like this and interest rates were high and builders were building and people were dropping mm -hmm. some contingencies like right. they were waiving the home inspection Correct. they were waiving the appraisal Correct. they were paying cash I mean, there were crazy times right. Back. Right. now i don't think that's going to happen i don't think that's going to happen at all but i think that there is going to be a slight market shift i actually um even you know the signs are there so we have the same type of signs that i saw before we've had inventory decreasing and we've had interest rates going up now previously before i don't know if you remember 80 20 is what we had before with you know eight percent for your first loan and 12 percent for your second all yeah. right remember Pe those people were getting um assistance to make their right. down payment right that doesn't happen anymore right exactly exactly so just some different things that are in the market there's also you know foreclosures probably won't happen like they did before because the way the investors are they actually buy these groups of uh, the hedge funds they call them so different things are happened because of all that craziness happened that likely will not happen again so well, we will probably Probably start to see somewhat of a shift though the other things that was happening in 2004 with the low inventory there was um, the buyers were frenzy there was right. like a frenzy like right. oh I need to get in the market now and there was that frenzy so our low inventory back in 2003 4 and 5 it's not happening now in the sense the same reasoning it's definitely happening that we're having low inventory but mm -hmm. that's not because of a frenzy of the buyers what's causing that is basically when our economy softened mm -hmm. we went through the recession builders weren't building right and so right. therefore there wasn't um, the normal right. building of homes to keep up with the normal population growth and that's what's really what we're trying to do now right. is catch up to that lack of building growth that happened in you know from 2007 um to Correct. 2013 now now they're going crazy now again. they're going crazy and this is kind of what happened before too the builders get crazy but again it's not the same as before i mean last time we had like speculation you know people would buy a home right and it takes six months to build a home and so they would buy the house and then six months later they would sell it for like thousands more and so that also happened too people got caught in that uh, that speculation of different things like right. that you know the investors would buy the home and then suddenly the market started to shift and they couldn't sell it for more than what they bought it for now they're stuck with this house 
and then people lost a lot of money that way too but that is not happening right now exactly. definitely not happening right now so um, we both subscribe to the National Association of Realtors we get data points uh, nationally right. we can see things in Fredericksburg what's going on and really what's happening I see is at least locally in Fredericksburg the builders are building and so we're definitely having that inventory help us and that is uh, but we still have a low inventory position so gotcha. and there's not a frenzy going no, on right no now. frenzy no and frenzy so, but interest rates are slowly creeping up I mean I don't know if you remember back in the Jimmy Carter days, I mean, interest rates were 14, 15, 16. Per we're not there. No, no, not we're anywhere not there. near no. there. And so our economy is definitely improving. Interest rates are low, and it's still a very good time to buy a home. Yes, it definitely very good is. Time. And the other thing is, is you have to understand. So, and um, we also may be affected even just because of changes in our environment. And I say that in a sense because school started in our area a lot earlier than it normally does. Now we always, always 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 every single year we see a slowdown in August when school starts but because school started actually a couple weeks early in a lot of places we started to see a slowdown more towards the beginning of the August rather than towards the end of August just shift and, for two weeks yeah and but it, that could have been too and and where I saw this shift was like, for instance, I'll say um, this would have been uh, probably like about the end of July, right? I use an example because I put three houses on the market all at the same time, same day, put three houses on the market, right? All of them were under 300,000. They were in great condition. One was in South Stafford, went on under contract in a couple days. One was in Spotsylvania. That one um, went, so Masponics area, that one actually went under contract in about two weeks. And then the Spotsylvania one out by Harrison Road, that one took about three weeks. So those were where those shifts happened. Now, since then, they've closed. But um, those were where we kind of saw the shifts. And that could be because of school. That could be because the school started early. Because then we normally see kind of a pickup again, you know, mid-September, things like that. And it usually stays pretty regular until we get to Thanksgiving. So, um... You know, and then I'll start all over again in January. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we don't get much of a break. You know, just so not much of a break. Yeah. It goes, it ebbs and flows. Right. It's, it's perfect. It's right. just like the tides. But I would say, you know, um, you know, from a standpoint, because I always get this, Rick, right. is this a good time to buy? Am I making the always. right decision? Always. Anytime is when you're it's, ready. It's, it's when you're yeah. ready. When you're ready. Really, it's your when you're ready, and there's always a good time to buy. The other thing that people don't realize is, like, you were making the comment about, like, um, Massaponics and right. how that area right. that area is is Booming. going to be growing. Yep. It's growing tremendously. Right. It's grown. It's grown tremendously through the recession, actually, and I believe it will continue to grow. They're Correct. talking about a, the VRE and the VRE, the yeah, hospital hot lanes, possibly. Um, they're talking about redoing the interchange where mm -hmm. Route One and Ninety Five and Massaponics come together. Right. They're talking about another um, exit. They're already improving the exit at One Eighteen, where mm -hmm. the racetrack is. Right. At Thornburg, and so I believe there's another exit plan for that area. In between there, take, it's just too big of a gap to take pressure off right. that intersection that um exchange. well you know another good place that this is all happening that we have a lot of growth is exit 140 around the Embry mill area and all yeah. the changes they're doing oh, around the fantastic. stafford hospital and the interstate there and everything else now it might take a bit but that's going to be another very big hot spot that will ignite new yep. growth new opportunities Definitely. and new commercial developments yep. Brooke as well VRE as is there you know so very close. Um, yeah so it's 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 a very good it, it really puts us in the right light you know and it's going to be a little pain short-term mm -hmm. pain in terms of the hot lanes that they're doing now right. uh, down to exit 130 but long term the growth is is healthy and it's good for our economy and we are benefiting from it. exactly exactly so do we feel the markets changing changing all the time likely changing could be cyclical could be just because of our environment Environment, but you know what? It might be. But if it does, it's not going to be horrible. No, not going to be horrible. It just might be a slight correction where things kind of even out. You know, where it's kind of fair to both buyers and sellers. Might get some closing costs for buyers. Sellers might still get their list prices. Houses might stay on the market just a little bit longer. But you know, it's always um, a good time to buy. Right, always a good time to buy. Always a good time to sell. It's whenever you're ready. That's really what it comes down to. It all works out. So if you have any other questions. For us, we'll have another hot question next week. Um, send us your questions, give us your comments, and of course, you can follow us on YouTube. And we're always available to help you with either sales, rentals, property management, and investing. Thanks so much. You guys have an awesome, awesome day. Ciao, ciao.